South San Jose home buyers and sellers, here's your two minute drill for the month of April where we cover all things real estate related in two minutes or less. This is Danny Gould with the Selling Silicon Valley Group. Welcome everyone to a very special shelter in place edition of the two minute drill. Uh, now, before we get started, I wanted to see down in the comment section below, leave your comment as to whether you think the housing market here in South San Jose is going to depreciate, stay neutral or appreciate uh, after or post shelter in place. There's arguments to be made for all three. So I'm curious to see what all of you have to say. Now, let's get started everyone. We're super high tech here. So let's start our timer in three, two, one, go. Okay, so when you look at the graphs down below, you'll see that the sales price to list price ratio is through the charts for the single family sector at 109%. Uh, now, that is a lagging indicator of a seller's market. When we look at homes that have been sold in March, these are homes that went into contract in February. So this, despite the fact that the data may show a seller's market, we'll see what the numbers look like in April and in May. And if we start to see that trend go down, meaning 109 goes to 105, maybe goes to 101 or below 100, then we'll see a depreciating trend on that front. Same thing goes for the condo and the townhome sector. We're still at 101% sales price to list price ratio. So we'll see how all of this plays out post shelter in place. Another thing worth noting, homes aren't staying on the market very long in either sector. You see 13 days on market in, uh, in the single family sector and 22 days uh, with the condo and the townhome uh, town sector in the, in the South San Jose region. Now, uh, something to note is that in a lot of other areas in Santa Clara County, we're seeing a depreciating trend or, or a, a, um, a lower Act, amount of active inventory in the month of March as compared to the month of February. But in both sectors here in South San Jose, we're seeing that number rise. Now, when will the rubber meet the road? When will demand fall far below what the active inventory supply is? That hasn't happened yet. But keep your eye on that because if inventory continues to rise, despite in many other areas, the inventory following and the, the, the buyer demand falling, uh, falling as well because of all of the uncertainty and everything that's going on in the shelter in place, I guess, modality that we'll call it. Um, if, if we see that trend continue, we could have a fairly rough May, June, July. If you're a home seller in South San Jose, that's all the time we have for today, everyone. Now, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the South San Jose area or anywhere in the greater Silicon Valley, text analysis to the number down below and uh, we'll send you a complete unique review of your situation. This is Danny Gould, everyone with the Selling Silicon Valley Group and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.